Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Luke, thanks for watching. We are around the corner from Finch and Amstead. We're going to a Travis Perkins site. And uh, yeah, we're just around the corner. I forgot there's roadworks down here. It's very, very tight to get the trailer around. Forgot about these. Oh, the sun's bright as well. How am I going to get around? Should be able to. Ugh. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching today's video. Happy Thursday, because that's the day, isn't it? That this video comes out. How's my hair looking? Is it a bit of a mess? Need a haircut. It's getting a bit curly. I could put some uh, some wax in it, but I don't know. Don't know if I could be bothered. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about this turning. Last time I made it just, but I had to go very slowly to get round. It's fine getting out the other way. We'll give it a go. I think they're building a roundabout or something. I'm not sure. Let's, let's uh, commit myself now. I'm getting the most optical line through it. Oh, they've, yeah, they've changed it. I had to go to the other side of these barriers last time. That was easy, not hard at all. It's a lot harder last time. They must have realized it was hard or something for large vehicles to get around. Never mind. Yeah, so we're, we're just around the corner from this place. Um, the place we're going to is one of the sites where you can't park outside because it's on a bend. And um, so you're kind of forced to go straight in. But if there's another Arctic in there, it might cause trouble. So we're going to have to have a, have a look when we get there and see what it's like. I've gone in once before and there's been an Arctic in there, but um, we managed to squeeze past each other, but only just. Didn't see that car indicate then until the last minute. Right. Narrow roads as well. Narrow roads. <coughs> Three quarters of a mile, that's all we got to do until we're there. Oh, just uh, sliced the cone, I think, in the road. Nothing I can do about it. By slice, I mean just kicked it out of the way a little bit. That's all. Uh, today we have two runs scheduled. We've got to do this run first, which is in Finch and Hampstead, as I've already mentioned. Some cars just want to keep on going. And then the next run we've got to do is in Cawthon, which is also a very tight yard. It's actually, Cawthon is probably the yard I don't like going to the most. I dislike it the most. It's probably a better way of putting it. It's, um, it's so tight that you've got to sort of go around a one-way system, but it's also the same way that trade goes in. So if there's anyone in the way, which there probably will be, you sort of got to start, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go until you get all the way around to where you need to be. It's very tight around here. But we can do it. Right, it's just a little on the left. Yeah, you can't really stop on the road because A, it's on a bend, and B, another Arctic wouldn't get past you. So you've got no option really but to go in and hope for the best. So it literally is just a case of hoping no one else is in here, and if there is, hoping we can get past. The sun is bright today. 
nice day though. It's only really just come out. Obviously, um, <clears throat> this video is coming out Thursday, but I'm recording this on a Monday, so I've just come down um, from Swindon down to Southampton. Uh, there is an Arctic in here as well. So it is quite later on in the day. Right, so I'm gonna have to go. I need to make an acquaintance, and I also need the blind down because I can't see. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so we are in, we are behind this Arctic. He's just finished getting tipped now. He's got to spin round and come past me. And I sort of need to drive in a little bit to give him a bit more room. So it's a little bit of like cat and mouse. He'd do a good job to get out where he is with, with that van in the way there. No, yeah, he's gonna have to wait. Which is what I thought. We'll get the old engine running, ready. I'm also gonna punch into the sat nav back to Southampton. Even though we're not even ready yet, it's done then, isn't it? I'm, I'm, <laughs> bless me. So yes, we're just waiting for that van to move and then um, we can hopefully squeeze past each other. Normally I park on the left-hand side and do the right-hand side first. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> bless me, but because this truck is here already, I'm gonna to have to start this side, I think. It's an hour and a half to get here from Southampton, so it's a three hour round trip, plus an hour tipping at least. So it's a four hour round trip, and we've got to do a Corfon as well, which is another four hours. So it's an eight, eight hour trip just for two runs, plus the two hours it takes nearly to get down to Southampton, so that's 10 hours and then however long it takes to get reloaded for the morning. So we're, we're gonna be looking at at least 10 hour shift today. Right, that van's now moving, if you call it a van. And now we've got to do some, uh, some cat and mouse moving around. Be straight there. I'm not straight though, so I need to straighten up. Okay, he's happy with how it is. Thing is, I don't think I can get out. I can't get out where I am. So we're just going to move slightly more forward. Now I can get out. Right, let's go get unloaded. Right, 35 minutes later, we have tipped one side. What we need to do now is move over to the other side of the compound, just so I can uh, tip the other side now. So I've got a bagsman just watching me back. His hands up to say stop. Now I can try and get over to the left. And then I'll probably have to go back again just to line it up. Okie dokie, back we go. That's it, so let's go to the other side. Okay, situation is this, we are now tipped. We just need to uh, spin round. <clears throat> but we're just waiting for Matey Boy to move out of the way. Over there on the truck. There you go. It's 
So I'm um, just getting myself in the position ready to turn round. And away we go, let's spin it round. Trying to take it as wide as I can. I do want to just check my um, Susie's in a sec, I don't think like the way they went. Let's get that car to go. I'll just get around the corner so people can see me. And I just want to double check my Susie's. I might be able to see them actually from here. No, I didn't see him. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Just the way the trailer bent, it looked like the Susie's were going underneath the trailer. So I just wanna just double check, really. Get the mic off. Right back. Yeah, they're absolutely fine. Mic on. Seatbelt on. Right, let's rock and roll. So we're now heading back to Southampton. Um, apart from the fact that we do actually need to have a break before we get back down there. So as I briefly mentioned earlier, um, for me today is Monday and um, I'll come down to Southampton from Swindon. So it takes nearly two hours to get down and uh, it takes an hour and a half to get here and I'm three hours 31 minutes driving I'm on now and for those of you who don't know by law you have to have a break before you do four and a half hours driving so I've only got an hour's worth of driving to do before I have to have a break by law and I'm an hour and a half away so I'm definitely gonna have to stop but there's a secondary rule as well uh, with regards to working time you can only work for six hours before having a break and I started work this morning at quarter past four 20 past four so um, I basically need to be stopped by 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So by quarter past 10, I need to stop. And it's 10 to 10 now. So I've got 25 minutes before I need to stop. I need to find someone to park, have a 45 minutes break, and then I can carry on again. So um, that are, that's, that's the rules for those of you who, did, who didn't know. Four and a half hours driving, six hours working time. Um, there's a bit of a question with regards to working time. A lot of people seem to think you've got to have half an hour break um, to get rid of your six hours working time. It's not true, you can have a 15. That's what I was taught, and that's what it says on the DirectGov website as well. But a lot of employers tell their employees that they've got to have half an hour. It's not the case, it's, it's 15 minutes. 100%. There's a lot of rules that um, are a bit confusing with regards to um, truck drivers. Some some of the older generation truck drivers believe in some things when they're not the case anymore, like dual carriageways, for example. You can now do 60 on a dual carriageway legally, not, not on a single carriageway, it's 15 and 60. It's all very confusing. Right, I've got to get past you, you've got to get past me, so... I'm trying to talk about speed limits and stuff and I need to concentrate getting past this guy. I don't fancy going up on the curb. Excellente. Excellente. Yeah, speed limit on a single carriageway is 50 and uh, speed limit on a dual carriageway is 60. Um, for HGV. Obviously HGVs are limited so you can only do 54, 55, 56, maybe even 52 depending on what you're limited to but you can legally do 60 on a dual carriageway in HGV and 50 on a single carriageway. But I think the confusion is a lot of the old timers think that you can only do 40 on a single carriageway or 50 on a dual carriageway one or the other but yeah 50 on single 60 on dual unless I've always stated. So some dual carriageways say 50 even though it's a dual carriageway. But yes, 
they are the rules as far as I'm aware they're the rules I was taught and that's the rules it says on the Diet Gov web website for those of you who wanted to know yeah there's lots and lots of rules like I said it's uh, something you've got to get your head around it you definitely have to get your head around it I plan on doing another live video at some point like a Q&A video I did one when I first um, started tramping in class one did it on Facebook and I'm probably going to do it on Facebook again because the last live video I did on YouTube, YouTube proper compressed it and video wise and audio wise it was rubbish. It's still on there now, it's something like YouTube please don't delete this video. Um, you have a look at it, it's just absolutely rubbish quality so if I do do a live Q&A it will probably be on Facebook because it's just better signal, better video, better audio for you. Um, and it's easier for everyone to talk to me as well then, uh, under real names. <laughs> I'll have Michael so-and-so talk to me rather than, I don't know, big bottom girl too. <laughs> so yeah, oh dear, I need to have a break. Let's find somewhere to park up and then um, maybe have something sweet. I've got some, got some like prawn, prawn skips up there that I could probably eat. I need to go to a shop as well, so if I can stop near a shop, that'd be good. But yeah, let's crack on and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, situation is this. Um, I actually forgot I already had a 15 minute break um, when I got down to Southampton this morning about six o'clock, about, about quarter past six. So I don't actually need to stop until quarter past 12 for the six hour break, but I still haven't run out of driving time. I'm on four hours and 21 minutes now. So I've only got nine more minutes of drive time left. I'm currently on the motorway on the M3. Luckily for me, there are services here. Um, I did plan it, so I knew I'd stop here. I put it into the sat nav, it told me how long it'd be, and I knew I'd have enough time to get here. But I didn't get... You can go away. But I didn't get here in time, then I would have come off at another junction and parked up somewhere, but I've definitely got enough time to get here. So that's cool. Winchester services, here we come. Start indicating. That was my mate Craig calling. I called him earlier and he never answered and he decides to call back while I'm recording. That's, that's him for you, that is. So we're going to pull in here, have a half an hour break, because that's all we need. Um, and then we're going to head off again. <coughs> Craig's decided to leave me a voicemail. Right, I don't think I've ever been in these services from this side before. I've gone in that side. Not this side. Where do we go? Do, 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 do. Free parking for two hours, yeah. I'll take that. That's the way back onto the motorway. Toilets, toilets is there. HV parking straight on. I hope. Oh, giggity, yeah, there's loads of parking here, look. I say loads. I say loads, it doesn't appear to be loads. I take it I can stop here. Oh, there we go, there's a space there. Here we do. It's quite a tight one I'm getting into though. That's close. Excellent. And then to get out, we go right. So we're just straighten up now. There, done. Right, so, engine off. Yes, I know I need a break. 4.15. Is that what we're on now, is it? No, 4.24 we're on now. 4.15, oh, that's when the reminder come on. So now we'll have half an hour break. 
Uh, we're putting to the sat-nav where we need to go, which is back down to Southampton. Again, I know how to get there, I'd just like to know how long and when I'm going to be there. Tempted to listen to the voicemail that Craig's left me, but I just know it's going to contain swearing. I'll play it anyway. As soon as there's a swear word, I'll beep it and I'll hang up. Hang on, I'm calling him by accident. Yeah? Yeah, I'm um, I'm having a break. I'm going to go and get some food. I just wanted to call you and uh, and say hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm also what are you doing? I'm also recording, so be nice. Oh hello! Don't listen to my voicemail if you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to your voicemail. Uh, huh? You said don't listen to your voicemail. No, don't. <laughs> Not if you're recording. I'll be lots of exploited. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> swear word, and you will not be able to broadcast it on air. <laughs> All right. Good weekend. Yeah, not bad. Anyway, I'm going to go because I've just parked up. I'm on a break and I'm going to go get some food. Bye, no worries. See you later. Bye. I didn't mean to call him. I meant to listen to the voicemail, but now I know I shouldn't listen to it. Right. I'm going to go get some food and drink and have a break. And then we go back down to Southampton. See you soon. Okay, break's over. We are now heading out of the services. Pardon me, I've had some food and uh, we're refueled, ready to go, ready to crack on for the rest of the day. How do we get out of here then? M3, right. Uh huh. Out we go. Now we've got to give way. There's not a lot of parking spaces in this place, um, I've, I've gathered. I think there's only room for like maybe 20 trucks, if that. It's not a lot of space. I don't think for a for a, for a service station. Never mind. We're on the M3. We're going to crack on now to Southampton, and uh, I'll see you there. Right. So we're just leaving now. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're just leaving Southampton now. Uh, loaded for our second run. <laughs> the thing is, it's uh, it's quarter past one nearly now. It is so late in the day to be going to this Corvon place. And ideally, ideally they want me back for five to be preloaded for the morning. But uh, it's touch and go. I just had to say to him, I just said, that it's going to be touch and go as to whether or not I'm, at, I'm back by five, do you know what I mean? And he said, yeah, we know. So it takes an hour and 20 minutes at least to get there, maybe an hour and a half depending on traffic. So that's three hours round trip, plus say an hour to get low, uh, to get untipped. So that's four hours from now, and it's quarter past one right now. So that's quarter past five. So it depends on whether I can get there quicker than an hour and a half, and if they can get me offloaded within an hour. Otherwise, it looks like it's gonna be after five, and then it's down to them whether or not they wanna stay open to load me for the morning. I would rather they did, personally, but it's ultimately up to them, isn't it? So we'll have to see. My seat's a bit low. We'll have to see. We'll just crack on, get there as soon as we can, and as safely as possible. And, um, yeah, we'll have to just wait and see. Okay, so an hour and a half later, almost, we're just approaching uh, Crawthod now. We need to take a left at this roundabout. And then we're only a mile away. B3348. For those of you who don't know where Crawthon is, it's sort of just south of Wokenham, uh, and Wokenham is just south of Reading. So it's that sort of area. And it's amazing, like, an hour and a half ago down in Southampton, it was proper sunny. I needed to wear sunglasses. It was really bright. This morning, it was really bright. And like, an hour and a half away, it's all cloudy and Dull. <laughs> so, yeah, not the greatest weather up here. I mean, it's, it's alright, it's not hot, it's not cold. Well, it's kind of cold, it's four degrees. But it is looking a bit miserable out, whereas down, down south it was a bit more a bit more sunny, which I do enjoy. I'd rather drive in the sun. <sighs> Got me yawning as well. Oh dear, oh dear. 
So this place we're going to now um, in Cawthorn, it's the Travis Perkins Yard. As I mentioned earlier, it's really tight. I have done a vlog before uh, while in here. It was called These Bends Aren't Made For Arctics. And we've got to go across that bend now in a sec. Where it's a, it's a like quite a tight right hand turn in. And you pretty much have no option but to go on the curbs to get round. So we will have to do that in a sec. And then the same on the way out. You've got to go on the curb to get back out again. So I'm just waiting for one of the tyres to go. I really am. And, but there is no other way in. I've tried getting in so many times this way. And I've tried different ways of getting in. And I can never get in without hitting the curb or going on a curb. Don't hit it. Sort of strategically. I can't get my words out. Strategically place a tyre upon it. It's the words I'm looking for. Right, let's go over this little cresty hilly bit. 200 yards and then we're turning right. I always like to have the window undone when I'm about to do a dodgy manoeuvre, just so I can hear things a bit better. So where that van's coming out, that's where we've got to go in. He's got a trailer. He must be turning right, because I can't see his left end here. That's the wing mirror, hitting the trees. There's a car coming, so it's not clear. He's waiting for me. Out the curb again. It's crap. So now I am going to have to go check my tyres, just make sure they are all okay and also let these guys know I'm here. In fact, I can see a tractor unit already in there. So I definitely am gonna have to wait. I have my indicators on, but the van behind me doesn't wanna see that. He's going in there as well. Right, uh, yeah, I need to go check my tires because I did hear a noise. Double check they're all okay. And uh, yeah, hopefully they are. <laughs> 